Hey everyone, welcome back to B-Varsity Nightly. I'm your host, Trevor Horn. Well, the Southern California regional playoffs have begun, and there's plenty of Kern County action. We even had a doubleheader over at Foothills, the boys' soccer team and the boys' basketball team, both hosting tonight as high seeds. Let's go straight to the highlights. Fantastic crowd on hand for this 4 o'clock start at Foothill as the Trojans were taking on number 7, George Washington Prep out of Los Angeles. Head coach Ty Rose, well, he was there excited because he had jury duty and he finally got out of it this morning. But he was able to watch this as Erasmo Hernandez with the free kick and gives Foothill a 1-0 lead. The Generals will come back and score right away just two minutes later. But then with the equalizer and then Foothill would score again. Everardo Arce with his 19th goal of the season. And Foothill victorious in this one, 2-1. And they move on to the D4 semifinals as the two seed taking on number, thir number three seed Troy out of Fullerton on Thursday in the semifinals. Just one game away from the SoCal D4 regional championships, which will be played on Saturday. And then inside the gym at Foothill, number one seeded Trojans in the Division V SoCal Regional Playoffs, taking on number 16 Bassett at La Puenta. And this game was packed. It was actually a sold out game. People were getting turned away before the game even started. And B, excuse me, Foothill gets on the board early with a nice block by Squid Turner. And then Elijah Seals with the put back. And then Cesar Valdez, who everybody thought he was going to be sick, is in there. Misses the three-pointer, but Squid Turner is there with the rebound and the put back. And it would be a 14-5 lead after one. And then a 33-25 lead heading into the third. The Trojans with the ball here, looking for something to happen. Jaden Phillips gets it inside. And nice look into Squid Turner. That's one of his three dunks on the night. Also had seven blocks. You saw one earlier and then Turner one more time, and it's a 12-0 run to start the third quarter after the Olympians started to get this one close. Turner pulls it in one more time. Six there you just saw of his 16 tonight, but Bassett wasn't done. Three-pointer there by Jesse Abalos, and then Jared Covabias would hit a long three here, and that would make a 51-44 Trojans, but... Foothill would pull away late in a sloppy victory here. Warren Stingley with the and one gets to the line. And then Stingley will get the ball here one more time. Four different Trojans scored in double figures, but they had 20-plus turnovers in this one. Stingley gets it put back one more time. And you can see that 1988 D3, D2 banner for the Trojans. That's what they're seeking again this year. But you can't play games like this as Squid Turner gets it in. But it is a 72-57 victory. They move on. Number eight seed Arletta out of the southern section. And then in other boys basketball action, Bakersfield, the 11 seed in D3, falls to Crescenta Valley 59-44 in that regional opener. In overtime, Bakersfield Christian had a lead throughout regulation but falls 69-68 in overtime to Pacifica Christian out of Newport Beach. So the BCHS and BHS season ends in boys basketball while Independence in D4. Victorious tonight, 76-71 over Lemoore. Our John Metis was at this game. You can read about this one tonight at Bakersfield.com. And the Falcons advance. will play at number two Providence at a Burbank Thursday in the regional quarterfinals in girls basketball in Division I. BHS's season comes to an end and 73-44 loss to number four Granada Hills. While McFarland, the one seed in D3, victorious tonight, 68 to 56 over number 16 Oxnard. The Cougars will host number eight Village Christian at a Sun Valley Thursday in the quarterfinals. To Hatchby also victorious in D4, 53-49 winner at home over Hillcrest. They will be at number two Oak Park on Thursday. In boys soccer action, Division Two Ridgeview falls on the road, two to one to San Fernando in the D2 regional playoffs. While Garces in D5, victorious tonight, 4 to nothing over Exeter. The Rams will host number four, San Dimas, on Thursday in the semifinals. And the Arvin girls, the D6 section champs, well, they're moving on in D5. They defeated Venice tonight, nothing, nothing. And it was in PK's 4-3 for Arvin. So Arvin advances to the semifinals as well. That's all the action we have for you guys tonight. If you want to check out more of our spring sports, you can 
look at our roundup later tonight on Vegasol.com, including the Terrio Classic Championship between Frontier and Stockdale. Our sports editor, Teddy Feinberg, was at that game. He'll have a write-up from that later tonight. For BVRC Nightly, I'm Trevor Holm. We'll be back on Thursday for those semifinal and quarterfinal matchups for current county teams in the SoCal Regional Playoffs. Till then, have a good night. Bye-bye. <laughs>